Hey, Chris Lipe here with how to sing with better breath support. How to know if you are using proper breath support. And we're going to take some cues from one of my favorite singers, the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. Ching, ching, ching. Ching, ching, ching. Ching, ching, ching. Ching, ching, ching. This video offers you three tips to dial in your support, but if you want to go deeper with really making sure that you're using proper breath support, how it's supposed to feel, and how that translates into singing, click the link below and join my free voice course where I take another student through learning the mechanics and feel sensations of using proper breath support. Tip and exercise one. We're going to borrow from the hook of Chain of Fools to help dial some things in. In our voices. If we sing those first three notes over chain, 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 that sequence, that journey up there, if you are not using breath support properly, you're going to feel the sense more so when you're at the top of your chest voice, but really anywhere, you're going to feel this sense of this folding over on itself neck position. And I'm, I'm kind of doing it now. Perhaps you've experienced this before. Let me pull the support out and try to do that. Chain, chain, chain! Hear how quivery and whimpery sort of it sounds? It's placed very differently than what I did the first time. So this first test or exercise is going to help us place our voice in a way that relies, that must rely on support for it to sound anywhere close to good and for it to feel good. Chain, chain, chain! And in order to help us gauge where our breath support is in terms of quality, when we get to that chain, chain! We're going to add a little sigh at the end. It doesn't mean we have to sing it like that all the time. But we're going to feel what happens when we let out our excess breath as we go up subtly in our range. Chain, chain, chain! I'm not even going to finish the word. You heard a little crack there. Chain! Like that. Don't worry that it sounds a bit weird and that it's not part of what you hear her doing. What we're doing is we are feeling the buildup of support by pulling it out at the very last minute. Chain, chain, chain! So if I slow that down, it would be like this. Chain, chain, chain! My voice is actually cracking. I'm letting my voice crack because I've removed the support. If I'm doing this wrong, if I'm doing it the other way, chain, 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 I will be unable to crack because my neck, my throat is engaged in such a way where I'm not free enough to crack. Try this a couple times back and forth. Try doing it obviously wrong and by the way doing things really obviously wrong in a in a very limited way and then feeling out the right way based on watching someone else is a huge way to figure out what's right from a sensation based uh perspective and sound if i go chain 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 i just sort of whimper out there's no way that that i can accentuate this letdown the difference is i've got excess breath. I'm singing way above my breath or on top of my breath. 
as you probably heard some people say. Chain, chain, chain! With that little chirp, I'm illustrating that I've got plenty there. I've got lots of support. I've got way more than I even need. And that excess is reflected in that sigh. So go back and forth and try both. Next, we're going to go back down and we're going to use the hook. Chain of fools. This time we're going to use a little bit different of a letdown. And this is literally a letdown. We're descending in our line. And as we get lower, chain of fools, we're going to almost compress or trap the sound a little bit over that ooh vowel. Fool. I'm going to exaggerate it. Like I'm trapping the sound, like I'm lifting something heavy at the very end. So we're going to be open at the top. Chain of fools. And then we're going to do that. What we're doing is we're not allowing ourselves to break this time. We're allowing ourselves, and in the sort of high, like, ah, sort of thing, we're allowing ourselves to ground in the breath that we have left. You hear soul singers do this all the time, and it's beautiful when they do it artistically, but we're exaggerating it here for a minute so we can feel out the state of our support. Chain of fools. Uh, uh. Even do that a couple times. If I've got that uh, left at the end, I have enough support to go in and out of different dynamics to support other different placements in terms of vowels and notes and resonances. I have enough air under my belt in order to do these things. If I if I descend chain of fools and at the end of that line again I feel my throat come into it chain of fools and these lines are great for experimenting back and forth because they close chain fools You've probably felt that kind of thing where you're just trying to get through. Okay, so what if you can't do the I'm singing above my breath, on top of my breath, and you can only feel the tension? First, make sure that you're singing in a comfortable range. Don't try to push or expand your range while you're doing this. Be super comfortable, okay? Second, try to isolate just one sound and don't make it about the note. Fools, fools, or che, che, che. So we're, we're going up and sighing, letting our voice crack into our head voice. Che, and then we're going down and we're grounding. Fools, fools. Because likely what's happening, if you can't break out of the I'm tense and I'm barely getting through the line, is that you're focusing too much on just hitting the notes. If we can remove the notes for a minute and focus on the sensation of feeling on top of our breaths, we know that we are engaging our support correctly. What should it feel like when you are engaging your support correctly? Well, first of all, your neck should sort of feel invisible. You won't feel like, of course you're, ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> You've clearly got things going on in your voice box, but there's no awareness of, of, of tension around your neck. You don't feel like the energy is coming from your neck. It kind of disappears. Second, you should feel a downward sensation. Ugh, and I talk way more about this in my free course. Fools. Ugh. When you're lifting something heavy, when you're pushing something out the other end, there's this sense that you have this very low center of energy. And by practicing this subtle compressed voice right before we, we ground out of it, we discover, okay, downward, very low support, free neck, a feeling that I've got excess or 
way more than I need to finish the line, breath. This is what it means to sing with good, proper breath support. Okay, one last tip. Sing the line, you treated me cruel. Except this time, instead of sighing out of it, at the very end with cruel, we're going to hold our breath. But we're not going to let go of the push of that downward focused support once we hit cruel. You treated me cruel. So it should feel like you're 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 holding back all of your air, right? Cruel. But once you get to that point, you can start to play with placing with your mind. It starts with your mind. Placing the energy of the held in breath. So if I go, you treated me cruel and then hold the breath. If I, upon holding, sense that I've got a lot going on here, I can, in that moment, while I'm holding that breath, direct my energy down and, and develop a, a more focused consciousness of my lower abdominal muscles or my poop muscles. That's the way you want to look at it. Hold all the air in. And if you're doing that, go... And you'll find, as you direct the energy down, you can maintain that same amount of intensity with your poop muscles, and you can completely disengage your note, or your, your held note, your held breath. Like this. You can't see, but I'm, I'm flexing and I'm, I'm focusing down, and I've got this sensation of trying to push something out the other end. But it started with holding something back here and releasing whatever tension I had in my neck, focusing the energy down towards poop muscle level support. Don't worry about whether your stomach is in or out. Just worry about feeling out that downward sensation. Once you are able to and let it go, now I've got that very tensed poop muscle level down here, you'll feel where it needs to be localized. And it always helps to attach it to music as you're doing it, which is why I say, do this line. You treated me cruel. So cruel. Now I'm talking. I released everything here, released the engagement here, and kept the push going. If you've ever gone to the bathroom, you know this. You might do that a little bit. <laughs> But you can push here without engaging here. Try this. I know it's a little weird, but it absolutely works. Try these three tips over and over again. Put these lines in comfortable areas of your range. Work with the sigh. Work with the uh, the grounding. And work with the stopping the note. And dialing in the sensation of pushing something out the other end. If you want more help with your support, again, click that link below and join my free voice course. And here's another video that talks more about support. We'll see you for more.